power tools can be intimidating to some people, but I'm going to show you today that you can use them and have fun while doing it. I made these using power tools and when you use them, you'll find that your crafting ideas won't be limited to pre-made things because now if you see something, you're going to be able to create it. And if you're ready to create something fun, let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I want to start off by showing you our quote unquote wood shop. It's really just a small corner of my garage where I do all of the wood projects. We're going to clear another space to put everything in, but this is where we are right now. And here are some wood scraps from previous projects and I'm actually using some for a project today. I usually have it a little cleaner. <laughs> we don't have a true sawhorse, so we use this, as, which is just legs to a table. We're going to move it to the other area once we get it all cleared, but that's what I have right now. And we have a drill press. It's not fancy or anything like that, but it gets the job done. And we have a jigsaw and a compact circular saw, which apparently I need to clean off. <laughs> And on the other side of the garage, we store some leftover fencing here that I use for some of my projects, and I'm actually using one of these today as well. And we have a larger table saw, but it's on the other side of the garage and not out, and therefore not really easy to use. And our plan is to clear this area here and move our woodworking stuff all over here, or as much of it as we can. I've got my previous projects that I have yet to find a good home for out of my garage and some miscellaneous junk over in this area. In this video, I'll be using my jigsaw, and this is a Black & Decker, and it has an interchangeable blade. I don't have a scroll saw, and I tend to cut things with like curves, <laughs> and so I use that thinner blade. And the jigsaw also has a guide on the front of it, and that'll help you when you're cutting. And it's also important to keep that foot portion flat on your wood piece. See those notches there? That's the guides. Slow and steady will win the race, and you don't have to rush when you're cutting, especially the more intricate parts. Don't rush it. Don't go too fast. Otherwise, you'll kind of overcut or mess something else up. I saw this cute little bunny at Hobby Lobby, and like so many other times, I thought to myself, I could make that. I mean, that wouldn't be too hard, right? What I usually do is take a pic of the inspo piece and I print it out, and then I use it as a template. And I use the cedar fencing material that I had left over for this project, and I sand that it's smooth. FYI, whenever you sand something, make sure you're wearing not only uh, uh, protective wear on your eyes, but also like a mask because, you know, dust can fly everywhere. Anyways, so I sanded it smooth and now I have a good surface to work with. And so I'm just kind of sketching out the outline of my template. I used some clamps to attach it to my sawhorse and then used my jigsaw to cut out the shapes. Now, big caution, always wear something to protect your eyes and always keep your attention on what you're doing. Try not to wear too like loose or flowy clothing because you don't want anything to get caught or snagged on anything. And remember, if your projects don't turn out great at first, I'm encouraging you to keep trying because I feel like I'm getting better and I think you will too. So apparently either I didn't film this or I've lost the footage, but I painted those shapes pink. I added a little heart on the front that says some bunny loves you and some burlap for the ears, a little pom pom nose. And I used a, bl a black paint pen to do the eyes and the whiskers and then just some jute twine around it. I think they turned out super cute. My friend Sarah from Can Sarah DIY it hosts the Power Up playlist and her co-host this time is Tammy from The Rusted Willow. And I've got the playlist and their channels all linked below. It's a super fun collaboration and I think you'll really enjoy it. So check it out and get some inspiration. I always try to hang on to scraps if I think I could use them for another project. And I thought they would be good to use as carrots. And I measured and tried to get an idea of how big I wanted them because they were going to go inside this little crate thing that I have there. And then I marked the, you know, some lines for reference so I'd know where to cut because I wanted them roughly the same size. I mean, they didn't have to be exactly the same size, but I kind of wanted them roughly the same size. And I cut off the tips so it was a little more squared off instead of pointy at the end. And then I cut all the pieces to the length that I wanted. I have this big container of terracotta paint and I mixed it with some linen color paint to lighten it up and it actually didn't lighten <laughs> as much as I thought it would but you know it works it's it's an orange-ish color and so I'm just painting all around 
the carrot shape to make it orange like a carrot. And then I'll let it dry. I'm gonna use this Ryobi drill to make holes in the top of the carrots to put the stems. But I wanted to show y'all first. My dad made this little, this tortilla press for me and it's all homemade. He's the one that did the artwork on the front and did the um, wood burning and stuff. It looks super cool. I have yet to make tortillas, but I've got the stuff I need to make them and I need to try it soon. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm going to drill. So the carrot, I was probably explaining this and using my hands, but anyways, the carrot is um, flat on one side, but then it's you know slanted at an angle on the other. So I'm putting the flat side in this vise here. And the reason that I have material there is so that the vise doesn't like crease the wood or like, um, make any marks on the wood or anything like that and I'm just tightening it up so it doesn't like move around or anything like that then I'm taking the drill bit the drill bit I'm taking the drill and it's got a drill bit in it and I'm just gonna drill down into the um, the center of that wood piece so I can put the stem in and I drill down far enough you know till I think it's far enough and then I just slowly bring it back out and that's it very easy to do y'all and I'll show you the finished DIY after I do this one because it all kind of goes together. So I saw some a rabbit planter kind of thing and I thought it looked cute, but I wanted to make like a smaller version of it. So I drew out a bunny shape and then I traced it onto this scrap piece of wood that I had. I took it out to the garage and cut it out with my jigsaw. Now I did have to sand some of the edges and smooth down some things, but I think it's already starting to, to take shape. So kind of happy with it so far. Let me show it to you. There you go. I painted the front of it white and I left some spots unpainted because I'm going to glue the little crate to the front and wood glue works better when it's raw wood to raw wood. So, um, that's that thick paint y'all. <laughs> I'm almost out of it. I'm almost out of it. I'm using it all. I did stain the crate with Waverly Wax in the color antique and then I glued it to the front of the rabbit and I placed the terracotta paint container on the front of it or on top of it to weigh it down and I let it dry overnight. But it's taking shape. You can see some of the other projects drying in the background. I took some light pink paint and added that for the bunny ears, like the inside of the bunny ears. And I also added on a face, I used a black paint pen to put the eyes and the whiskers. And I used a pom pom for the nose. And yeah, you wanna see how it turned out? Here is the finished product and oh my goodness, I really love how this turned out. Okay, I, I'll be honest, I don't really like the nose that much, but I can fix that. I added the face on as you can see and a few of the carrots to the crate. I added some lines and some dots and some spirals to the carrots to give them some character. In that hole that I drilled in the top, I added just a little sprig of boxwood greenery to kind of get that, you know, look of a stem, y'all. I just love it. I think it turned out so cute. I do want to work on the bunny face again and change out the nose because just, yeah, the nose is just kind of like, what is she doing with the nose? So I will change that out and kind of fix the face a little bit more, I think, but I love it. I love how it turned out. Here's another look at the trio of bunnies. I love how they turned out. And I think if I try it again, which I think I will, um, I would change out those ears to be like the wire ears in the Hobby Lobby inspo piece and maybe change out the sayings on the front of those hearts. But I just, I think they turned out so cute. And then with the bunny and the carrots and the crate, again, really the only thing that I think it would change, well, I know I'm gonna change, is that nose and the face. I'm, I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit, but super cute. I love the carrots, I love the crate, I love the bunny shape. I think this one turned out amazing as well. And I'd like to know which one was your favorite. So leave me a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite from today's video. And I just appreciate so, so much y'all coming and watching my videos, supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. And whenever you subscribe or give me a thumbs up or share it, it really does help support my channel. And it helps YouTube to notice me a little bit more and kind of push me out to new viewers that may not have seen my content before. And I'm so, so grateful for, for y'all that do that. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye y'all.